Finnish language also has a lot of interesting and funny words that just cannot be translated with one word for example to English. And in this video I will teach you 15 Finnish words that cannot be translated. Let's go check them out. What up Fantastics? My name is Alex and I make authentic, fun and useful videos about Finland. So if you're interested in Finnish stuff and Finland, make sure hit the subscribe button now and the bell button as well because you will get more awesome Finnish content in the future. Number one, vahingon ilo. And this word actually consists of two different words, vahinko and ilo. And vahinko means kind of like accident and ilo means kind of like a joy or happiness. Okay, well, let me take you an example. When I was a kid and we used to play like football with some other school kids, and I remember once someone accidentally kicked the ball to my balls, and I was like, oh, like, oh, it's hurting, and you know, and the other kids were like laughing at me. And this is what vahingon ilo is, entertainment or happiness when you see like someone else failing or messing up. And for example, when I've got my balls, a ball kicked to my balls and the other people were like, ah, look at this guy, like, that's what, that was vahing on ilo towards me in that case. We actually have this saying in Finnish, vahing on ilo, paras ilo, which means like vahing on ilo is the best kind of, best form of happiness. So <laughs> I don't know what kind of, or what kind of impression that will give, give us about Finns to the world. Number two is myötä häpeä. And again, we, it consists of two words, myötä and häpeä. And myötä is really difficult to translate. It's, it's just like for or with something. And häpeä means like kind of a shame. Shame, so a, sh a shame, a shame, yeah, but shame, you know. The kind of feeling when you see someone doing something really embarrassing, like, like, okay, let's take one example from when I was doing those prank videos. I made this one video where I, watching, where I was watching porn with unplugged headphones in the library. And when the other people realized like, oh, I'm actually watching porn and they were having like this kind of, uh, it's kind of a little bit kind of cringe, but not quite. And this is kind of like a combination of sympathy and embarrassing. I think that fits quite well. And there's also a verb like tuntea myötä häpeää. For example, tunsin myötä häpeää, kun näin Alexin katsomassa pornoa kirjastossa. I felt cringe and ashamed when I saw Alexi watching porn in the library. All right, that's a good one. Number three we have is sisukas. And you probably know this term sisu, which is really a Finnish concept. And let me try to explain to you. If you go to a dictionary and try to translate, you get things like determination, gutsy, and gritty, but the, it's actually much more than just one word. Like I think the sisu is like kind of all combination of those and it's more like long-term stuff. And sisukas is again an adjective made out of sisu. For example, yes, se on sisukas, kun se jaksaa opiskella saksaa joka päivä. So yes, se is sisukas, because he he's studying German every day. So I think this is actually a good example because for example, studying a language it's a long process, a long journey, and in this case, yes, he's studying every day, so he's kind of like hardworking, determined, and not giving up in the long run. So this is how Sisukas works in Finnish. And number four we have is talko. Again, let me take an example. Like, okay, let's say that you are, for example, you want to get your house painted, or you're more for example moving out. And talko is this kind of like a concept where you invite your family or friends or even your neighbors to kind of help you out doing that voluntarily, so without payment. So this is talko. Back in the days, it used to be especially between neighbors. So if you were just in a, like a residential area, you had neighbors, you actually invited your neighbors to help you to do, for example, when you, if you were, for example, building a house, like let's say helping to get the concrete laid out or, you know, getting the roof put on the house. And that was usually done through talakot. And I know it's like a voluntary stuff, but usually there was like a reward in form of like lunch or dinner made by the made by the family or the person who they were helping. Let's take another example. Jussi haluaa maalata talonsa ja pitää talakot perjantaina. So Jussi wants to get his house painted and he's having a talakot on Friday. And this is talko. Number five, we actually really funny one, and that is pilkunussia. And this consists of two words again. Pilkku means a comma, you know, a comma. And nussia means like a fucker, like literally someone who's like fucking someone, like in the sexual meaning. This is usually used to describe a person. So it's an uh, kind of like adjective, I would say. So pilkunussia is someone, or comma fucker, is, a, is someone who is always sticking to some really nitpicky details and trying to kind of bring their 
knowledge by correcting these kind of like small minor mistakes in everything. And for example, if I say in Finnish like Uno on aikamoinen pilku nussia, it means like Uno is like one of a comma fucker and it is means that he is this type of person who is always commenting on this nitpicky stuff and like kind of complaining kind of really small matters. And there's also a verb nussia pilkku, which literally means to fuck a comma. <laughs> so mix Uno pitää aina nussia pilkkua. Why does Uno always have to fuck the comma? Or you know, be really nitpicky basically, it means in natural English. <laughs> Yeah, this is a funny one. This is a funny one in my opinion. And I've actually made a video about 26 funny words in Finnish and it's popping up in the cards. Make sure you also check it out after this video. Number seven is a good one. We have löylu. And this is a really sauna related vocabulary. Löylu doesn't really have anything, any kind of translation. Hence it's on this list. But for example, if you throw the water on the stoves, that is löylu. So when you throw, the water on the stones, it vaporizes, it gets really warm and hot, you feel kind of the relaxed, you get really relaxed and you know, feel the kind of steam on your skin, that is löylu. There's a few expressions on this, for example, if you say hey tä löylyä, this means like literally to throw löylu, but in practical languages it means that to throw the water. If you say hyvät löylyt, it means that, you know, it's good löylu and, and kind of Ah, uh, this is the thing, like, these are really difficult to translate. Practically, it means that, okay, it's like a really good sauna session, you know, it's just good, good temperature, good going, good mood, and so on. There's also a, a verb, löylyttä. This means more like to kick someone's ass at something. Like, for example, if we say, Pekka löylytti Maurin tenniksessä, that means that Pekka kick Mauri's ass at tennis. This doesn't really have too much to do with actually sauna, but we also have this kind of verb, so Pay attention to that as well. Number eight we have is tosikko. And this literally means a person who takes things too seriously, like all the time or often at least. There's this word tosi, which means kind of like true or real. And this ko ending is just to, a way to make like a person out of something. For example, if I say musta Laura on liian tosikko, I think Laura takes things too seriously too often. Number nine we have is kaamos. And this is actually a little bit sad one because this means the time of the year when the sun doesn't, uh, there's no sunrise at all. So there's no sunlight. And this especially happens in northern parts of Finland because you know that because of the geographical location, the sun doesn't actually shine in at all in this small area for even for weeks I heard and that's really nasty time because you know how, how do you actually manage to do manage to live without sunlight and this is kaamos the time when there is no sunlight for example if I say kaamos on pimeä aika kaamos is kind of like dark time or dark season number 10 is jaksa and this is actually a really useful word but let me try to explain this to you with some examples again. First meaning is to kind of have energy to do something or but in a way that you are not actually willing to do. For example, if I say mennäänkö ulos, should we go out? But if I say emmä jaksa, a or a jaksa, it means I don't have the energy in a way that I don't want to do it. And this is actually a really difficult concept to explain, but it just means that I don't, I'm not really in the mood or I don't really want to do or I don't really want to bother. And this is, this is one of the meanings. Uh, the second one is kind of like how you're doing or how you're managing. For example, if I ask, miten oot jaksanut viime aikoina? That means kind of how you've been doing or how you've been managing recently. Another meaning is to be able to. For example, if I say, Man jaksa enää is like I can't do this anymore or I, I just can't go on. I can't do this anymore. Yeah. So as you can see, it's a really tricky word, but it's really useful and definitely doesn't exist in English. So that's a really good word to learn in my opinion. Number 11 we have is ehtiä or keretä. How would I explain this? This means to make it in time or be in time. Like for example, if someone says Mennäänkö tänään baariin? En mä ehdi tänään. They say like, I don't have the time or I'm too busy. So there's actually a verb to describe the fact that you are too busy and don't have time. And it's actually quite often used. And keretä is just means exactly the same. There's no, no difference whatsoever. Completely interchangeable in my opinion. Number 12 is tarjeta. And <laughs> this, is, this is a really interesting verb. So, let me take you an example. If I say, Ei ulkona tarkene, this means something 
like it's too cold out here to cope. Tarjeta is always related to the weather and the temperature. If I say täällä tarkene, täällä tarkene, it's like, oh, it's, it's okay, like it's warm enough, not too cold. Really difficult to translate, but just remember this has, this is dealing with the weather and the temperature. And number 13 is the probably one of the most famous one on this list and that is Kalsari Kännit and probably you don't I don't even have to explain to you because it's because this has appeared quite a few times on my channel as well and Kalsarit means like usually men's underwear and Kännit means the state of drunk in plural it Kännit. Practically this means drinking at your home alone and wearing nothing but your underwear and <laughs> I know this is it's crazy why do we have such a word and kind of complex really complex meaning but actually you don't have to, you can also do this with your friend, you don't have to always be alone if you want. But wow, really, really interesting. The verb for this one you can say vetä kalsari candidate. For example, you can ask your friend like vedetäänkö kalsari candidate. Like should we do like kalsari candidate? So you're inviting your friend over, just getting your underwear, just get a few Finnish beers and some Finnish vodka and just get drunk. You should put that on your Finnish to-do list. Number 14 we have is asin silta and we asin this means again we have two words asin which means like don't kiss like a genetic don't kiss and silta means bridge and so don't kiss bridge and and the meaning of this is kind of like a clumsy way to move from another topic to another and this is especially used in like literature or when in writing for example if I'd say Okay, now I finished talking about word number 13, let's move to word number 14. Like this is really, and as you can see, it's like a really unnecessary way to make like a transition to the next one. So that is called asin silda. And I think in some cases you can also use it as a way to remember, to make like this kind of memory to remember is something easier. Number 15 we have is vitutus. And this is a little bit also like a swear word section. Actually, this is a noun made out of the verb vitutta, which means like being pissed off. Vitutus is something in, in the terms of the pissed offness. You kind of make a noun out of being pissed off. So pissed offness. Wow, that's a, that's a, that's a mouthful. That's a mouthful. For example, if I say, Nyt on kyllä kauhea vitutus päällä. This means literally I'm having such a pissed offness going on right now. But it just means like I'm just so pissed off. But <laughs> I don't, it, yeah, this, these verses are just so crazy. Um, for, uh, this is actually even interesting for me as a Finnish person because, you know, I take this granted because I'm just a Finnish person and I have to think about this. But now that I try to explain, it's like, ha, fuck. Crazy stuff. And I have actually a bonus for, word for you, which is paukku pakkanen. And paukku means like a bang and pakkana means frost. So it's kind of like a bang frost. And literally this means it's like really cold weather. What's the story behind this is that, you know, when, when it gets cold, water freezes up and for example if we have water pipes and you know what happens when water freezes kind of expands even like up to 10% which is actually quite crazy and the water pipes can break and they like boom you know make this kind of noise so this is where it comes paukku pakkanen and we use this just to say cold weather it's been really cold recently so as you can see, these words are actually pretty interesting and you know, every language has these kind of words. And there's only one thing I want to ask to you. Make sure to hit the subscribe button because you get more authentic, fun and useful videos about Finland and Finnish stuff in the future. And I have actually prepared you another playlist of fun and useful Finnish language related videos. It's popping up here or maybe this way, I don't know. Anyway, it's here. Make sure to check it out now. See you in the next video. So much.